What's up, family? All right, so Russia has its own answer to the mother of all bombs. Goes like this, y'all. Born in Russia in 2007, the father of all bombs may be holding a title surpassed by no other. The Russian military says it's the most powerful thermobaric bomb of its kind, four times more powerful than the American mother of all bombs, the largest non-nuclear bomb in the U.S. arsenal, and the largest non-nuclear bomb the United States has ever used in combat. Based on the specifications, the Russian military has released Analysis says Russia could be right. We believe it's real, said retired Colonel Rick Francona, military analyst and former U.S. military attache in Syria. The Russians have been among the pioneers of these thermobaric bombs. I don't have any doubt that they could build this, Francona said. It falls under their technological capabilities. The FOAB, if what was reported is true, is the most powerful non-nuclear bomb in the world, said retired Colonel Cedric Lighton, military analyst and former member of the Joint Chief of Staff. The FOAB is a thermobaric bomb, which means that its payload explodes at a much higher temperature, Lighton said. The result is that living things within the area of detonation are vaporized, making FOAB a spectacularly terrible weapon. Russia announced that the bomb was first tested in 2007 and a national broadcast that aired on September 11, 2007, Deputy Chief of the General Staff of Russian Armed Forces at the time, Alexander Ruskin said, the first test of a new bomb capable of sending shock waves with the power of a nuclear bomb was completed. When the U.S. military first tested the GBU, 43B Moab in 2003, the Cold War era was long gone, but the rivalry between the two world powers never really ended. Why the mother of all bombs and why now? We're getting to that. After Moab was introduced, Russian developers built their own bomb and by analogy nicknamed it the father of all bombs, according to the Channel One report. Russia has not exported this weapon to any other nation as far as we know, and it is unlikely that they will export it in the future, said Lighton. At the moment, the FOAB's technology would be deemed to be too sensitive to export, he added. These are very unique weapons, so the demand for them is very, very low because you won't use these indiscriminately, Francona said. Moab was originally intended to be used against large formations of troops and equipment or above ground bunkers, but later the targets expanded to caves and tunnels buried under softer surfaces. It was used for the first time on April 13, 2007 by the U.S. military in Afghanistan's Nangarhar province, targeting a network of fortified underground tunnels that ISIS used to stage attacks on government forces. The ISIS tunnels in Afghanistan were the right target for the Moab, said Francona. Those cave complexes, tunnel complexes, really call for this weapon, he said. Russia started developing FOAB during the Afghan war, said Moscovy. It was intended to clear safe airspace so military helicopters can fly through, he said. Nonetheless, it would be unthinkable to use a weapon like FOAB in areas where the Russian military operates in Syria because of the potentially immense number of civilian casualties, Francona said. This would be on a scale unseen in Syria, he said. I hope that we won't use FOAB deployed in Syria because it's just not the right target. Boy, we some nice people. Boy, us humans, we good, boy. We just figure out all kind of ways to kill, kill, kill. We're going to make up something to kill, boy. Boy, we good. We some good killers. Here's the deal. So the U.S. goes out and make the mother of all bombs, and Russia responds by making the father of all bombs, and they get together and they have the baby of all bombs. 
and kill everybody. So they saying that this 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 bomb. I read a report that says that this bomb, uh, it's it's very powerful and it'll kill a lot of people, but it's it's non-nuclear. So it's not going to damage the environment. <laughs> it's just going to incinerate everything in it. <laughs> and some people think that's a good thing. I've heard people say all kind of crazy things about the, this this weapon. Uh, it's just another way for for humans to kill each other. I mean, we humans are brilliant. Yeah, it's crazy. It, it, it does, since it doesn't pollute the environment, then it's all good. <laughs> this let me tell y'all what stood out right here. He said that. Uh, the ISIS tunnels in Afghanistan were the right target for the Moab. Now, to hit those targets, to hit those caves, to hit those tunnels, <laughs> they don't know what's under the ground there. They don't know who's living down there. What do you think? You think it's just operatives down there? You think it's just ISIS? You think it's just Al Qaeda living in there? Man, they, they probably got a whole city in those tunnels, living in those tunnels. And But, you know, they don't care. They're going to bomb, they're going to go in there and just bomb everybody. Now, I know some of y'all sitting back, ah, hey, man, it don't matter, man, just kill them all. I wonder how bold would people be in the United States? How confident would people be if they really felt like somebody could shoot a bomb this way? and hit the mainland. I wonder how confident, how aggressive people would be about that. It doesn't matter that the bombs don't pollute the environment. It is going to decimate everything within miles of of, 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 of of it dropping, wherever it drops at. It doesn't have to be pinpointed. Now, you know, and that's another thing, like America, America's mother of all bombs is a lot smaller than uh, Russia's uh, father of all bombs, from what I understand. But one of the things about America is that America is precise. You know, when they build something to hit they 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 shoot that missile from a thousand miles away and they want that missile to hit you in the eye that missile gonna hit you right in the eye <laughs> you know uh, russia their technology isn't as precise as america's technology so they have to account for a little error in um in precision so they don't have to hit the target right on, but at the same time, all they really do got to, all they really have to do is get in the area and it's on. But I've heard people running around here uh, saying things like, and I heard I've heard this even in, in public. Somebody said they need to kill, they need to kill ISIS, and then somebody was like, well, they need to drop a bomb on uh, Israel. Then I heard people saying, well, they need to drop a bomb on. Uh, I, I've even heard somebody say drop a bomb on Finland. What the hell did Finland do? <laughs> you know, Finland never comes up in matters of war. <laughs> but it's like people are calling out places and things that they want to drop and people who they want to drop a bomb on. They're like, they need to drop a bomb on Al-Qaeda. They need to wipe out ISIS. They need to drop a bomb on Afghanistan. I heard people say they need to drop a bomb on Iraq. You know, uh, drop a bomb on Japan and drop a bomb on U.S. and Russia need to get together and wipe out the Middle East. I heard, like, it's fools out here that talk like that. Can you imagine if one of those fools was actually became, came into power and became like a leader that had that type of ability where they could just push a button and have people to go out and fight in wars? Can you imagine? You know, we got a couple crack, we got a couple crackheads 
in office right now. We got a couple crackhead leaders right now. U.S., North Korea. Yeah, they, those dudes, they off. Both of them. And I'm telling you, man, it, it just reminds me of a time when, you know, when Hitler rose to power and the kind of Stalin and all these type of dudes that were around that time. It's the same situation, y'all. If you don't learn from your history, you're bound to repeat it. I'm telling you. So all these people running around saying, can we drop a bomb on Israel? Can we drop a bomb on Al-Qaeda? Since they have their request on where a bomb can get dropped off next, I'm going to go ahead and put my request in. I'm requesting that a bomb gets dropped in the mouth of all these warmongers in suits and the internet warrior warmongers. Yeah, that's why I request the bomb to get dropped off at. Drop it right off in your fucking mouths. So for once, you can shut the hell up. No more talk. What, what the haters talking about? Damn. Order, Texas.